Good morning, everybody. Time for another phonics session. Okay, we're going to move on sharply and we're just going to practice our digraphs. Well done. Going. Keep going. Nearly done. Nearly at the end. And last one. Fabulous. Okay, so yesterday you focused on words that had the W and the R but just made the R sound when you read them. So I've got some words I'm going to hold up for you and then you are going to say what the word is. Okay, let me move closer so that I can hold them up for you. Ren. Wrong. Written. Wrote. Wrench. And the last one, wrap. Okay, fabulous. So let's move on to our learning today. And again, it's only one sound that we're focusing on today. So we're looking at, in words, how sometimes the S and the T appear together. But when we read them, when we blend them, we just use the S sound. Okay, so bearing that in mind, let's have a go at reading some of these words. Okay, so let's start with the top one. So I'm going to blend it and then I'm going to say the word. L -i -s -n. Listen. B -r -i -s -l. Bristle. Now this one also has one of our alternatives where it looks like it starts with a C and a H, but it's just the, s the k sound. So k -r Christmas, Christmas, and the last one, g -i -s -n. glisten. Well done. Now, I'm going to read those words out. We're going to read them all together. Okay, and um, oh, before we do that, let let's have a go. You sounding these words out. Sorry, I'm moving this board backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Right, so I'll point you. You blend and tell me the word. Listen. Well done. Bristle. Christmas. Glisten. Sorry, I don't even think you could see me doing that one, could you? Glisten. Well done. Okay, so let's read those words. Let's start with listen, bristle, Christmas, glisten. Okay, let's go again really quickly. Listen, bristle, Christmas, glisten. Oh, a bit of a tongue twister there. Let's start from the bottom up. Glisten, Christmas, bristle, listen. And let's do it all over. So Christmas, glisten, listen, bristle. Well done. Okay, so I'm going to give you some words to, to have a go at writing. I'm also going to add some different ones in there, but it's still the same rule. When you hear the S, remember it's an S and a T. Okay, so let's start with one that's on our board, which is, let's start with glisten. G -l and that end glisten and that end remember is the e and the n glisten okay pause the video have a go at writing it and then come back to me okay next one is going to be one that we've not done on our board today it's rustle as in when you hear the leaves rustling on the floor so r -u -s -u -l. now remember like a lot of our words, when we hear that all sound, the spelling rule is that there's a silent E after it. And it's definitely the case in this word, Russell. And then let's go for another one. Let's go for castle. So, C 
castle. K a s l, and again with the l and the e as the rule. Okay, so if you've done those, I'm going to hold up the board. I've added Russell and Castle to our words so you can see if you've spelt them correctly. Did you get the E and the end as well at the end of Glisten? Did you get the S and the T in all of your words when you heard the S sound? And then Russell and Castle also have the L and the E at the end. So well done if you did. If you didn't, then you've got time to change it. Okay, so let me, oh, I've got my blue cardigan on so I can just use that to wipe off. Okay, so let's go for a sentence now. I have an easy and I have a hard. Which one shall I go for? Oh, I'm going to go for hard. Okay, so I'll start the few, the first few. Um... And then I'll show you as I'm writing the rest. Okay, so. Okay, let's see what we've got so far because I have not finished yet and I don't want it to get con too confusing. So we're starting with a uh, capital letter Y and it's a tricky word. It's U. You can can. And then we've got her and we've got a trigraph here, so three letters that make the ear sound. Her ear, you can hear, tricky word the, and then sn o. You can hear the snow r or s all. It's one of our words. You can hear the snow rustle. And E, S, E, T, it. You can hear the snow rustle and see it glisten at, oh my gosh, how many words today? At Christmas. Okay, full stop at the end. Goodness me, that was a long one, wasn't it? So, you can hear the snow rustle and see it glisten at Christmas. We're going to need to read this one a few times to help it stay in our memory. So, let's do it again. You can hear the snow rustle and see it glisten at Christmas. It will help because there is a little bit of snow out there today. So, relate it to that. You can hear the snow rustle and see it glisten at Christmas. So let me put the board down and see if I can remember the sentence. So, you can hear the snow rustle and see it glisten, we've got to 10, at Christmas. 12 words. You can hear the snow rustle and see it glisten at Christmas. 12 words. Okay, so don't worry if you need a reminder of the sentence. You can you can just uh, rewind it a little bit and watch it again if you can't remember that long sentence. So pause the video and have a go at writing the sentence. Okay, have you done it? Did you remember 12 words in this sentence? Have you got your full stops? Have you got your capital letters? And did you get all of your words, which I think were listen, glisten, and Christmas with the S and the T? Okay, so let's check, shall we? Okay, here we go. You can hear the snow rustle and see it glisten at Christmas. Okay, so check your sentence against mine. It's also got that difficult here with the trigraph ear in it. Did you get that right? Oh, and don't forget the snow with the alternative O. Okay, well done guys. You've done a great job today. It was a really, really hard one and I've challenged you today. So if you've done that, give yourselves a pat on the back. Well done. Okay, 
So that's it for our phonics today and I'll see you very soon. Bye.